One of the things I've noticed about men is that they're better at deceiving themselves for longer. They suck it in. You know, they can suck in that, that gut or they can talk about it and say, oh, you know, I got a big chest. I got big arms. I'm big boned. All right. They have a powers of self-deception that are remarkable. But there comes a day when you suck it in as much as you can and it's still protruding over your belt. And this poem's about that. It's called Paunch, which I think is the ugliest word for a gut you can have. In the middle of getting dressed, ambushed by a mirror, I'm brought up halt and shame before the paunch. It isn't a gut or beer belly, a spare tire or love handles, but something sinister, something beyond the often tender misshapenness of me. Suddenly I'm not young anymore and that 25-year-old poet who liked my work, who spoke with a voice like dusk, who swept waves of thick jet hair from her shining face as she spoke, really only liked my work. How awful, how sad to be entering the realm of the fathers. There is no hope unless it be a twig, a slippery elm, a perfectly blue dinner plate, a flower I don't remember ever seeing that gives off the spice of a woman's sun-warm back. Where are all those magical things and how to find them? And if I should master the elements, what then? I'd still be a third-rate Prospero at best, that old bag of tricks, vengeful, clinging to his beautiful daughter. Sit-ups are, of course, out of the question. This goes way beyond fitness. This is the one gray hair I spent mornings searching for and plucked like a fat autumn shrew from its lair. Fierce and merciless as an owl, I hover over the ruins of my life, trying to suck this demon in, trying to suck it in. I fall three waistlines short of Valhalla. Christ have mercy. Keep me far from mirrors and voices like dusks, in which Angelus rings and the stars rise. For I am only a poet, a fat poet, heart sick with desire and fastened to a dying animal. Now, that last line, I can't take credit for. That's from Yates. Uh, heart sick with desire and fast with a dying animal. And when I first got that poem published, the editor said, I love the whole poem, Joe, except for that last line, which made me laugh because I then had a right to, well, Mr. Yates wrote that line. <laughs> if you don't like it, I'd be gladly take it out. But uh, that's my take on the, uh, the great American paunch, something I have. <laughs>